Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Friday the 3rd of November, two days before Bonfire Night. Hope all is well with everybody and people are looking forward to the, well, I don't know if you look forward to the darker nights, but the nights are now drawing in, the clocks have gone back as we hurtle our way towards Christmas. Never do we need more of the peace of Christ in the run up to Christmas. So let's just have a moment of quiet before we start our morning prayer. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. This morning I thought we might, instead of saying Psalm 42, we might listen to a song. So here we go with Psalm 42. Oops, here it comes. Desire and I 
I'm sure we're getting you back then. Isn't that a lovely song? You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone do my spirit yield. The night has departed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts, hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's psalm is Psalm 17. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand. Hear my just cause, O Lord, consider my complaint. Listen to my prayer, which comes not from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes behold what is right. Weigh my, weigh my heart, examine me by night. Refine me and you'll find no impurity in me. My mouth does not trespass for earthly rewards. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast in the ways of your commandments. My feet have not stumbled in your paths. I will call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and listen to my words. Show me your marvellous loving kindness. O Saviour of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who assault me, from my enemies who surround me, take away my life. They have closed their heart to pity and their mouth speaks proud things. They pressed me hard. They surround me on every side, watching how they must cast me to the ground. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places, arise, Lord, comfort, confront them and cast them down. Deliver me from the wickedness by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand, from those whose portion in life is unending, whose bellies you fill with your treasure who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. As for me, I shall see your face in righteousness. When I awake and behold your likeness, I shall be satisfied. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand. Generous Lord, deliver us from all envious thoughts. And when we are tempted by the desire for wealth, let us see your face. For your abundance is enough to clothe our lack. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Old, Testament, our Old Testament reading this morning is from Ecclesiasticus, verses 43, chapter 43, verses 13 to the end. By his command he sends the driving snow and speeds the lightnings of his judgment. Therefore the stone houses are opened and the clouds fly out like birds. In his majesty he gives the clouds their strength and the hailstones are broken in pieces. The voice of his thunder rebukes the earth. When he appears the mountains shake. At his will the south wind blows. So does the storm from the north and the whirlwind. He scatters the snow like birds flying down and its descent is like locusts and lightning. The eye is dazzled by the beauty of its whiteness, and the mind is amazed as it falls. He pours frost over the earth like salt, and icicles form like pointed thorns. The cold north wind blows, and the ice freezes on water. It settles on every pool of water, and the water puts in like a breastplate. He consumes the mountains and burns up the wilderness, and withers the tender grass like fire. A mist quickly heals all things. The falling dew gives refreshments from the heat. By his plan he stilled the deep and planted islands in it. Those who sail the sea tell of its dangers and we marvel at what we hear. In it are strange and marvellous creatures, all kinds of living things and huge sea monsters. Because of him each of his messengers succeeds and by his word all things hold together. We could say more, but could never say enough. Let the final word be, he is the all. Where can we find strength to praise him? For he is greater than all his works. Awesome is the Lord and very great, and marvellous is his power. Glorify the Lord and exalt him as much as you can, for he surpasses even that. When you exalt him, summon all your strength and do not grow weary, for you cannot praise him enough. Who has seen him and can describe him? Who can extol him as he is? 
many things greater than those lie hidden, for I have seen but few of his works. For the Lord has made all things, and to the godly he has given wisdom. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah 43, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20 and 21. The refrain is, I'll make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things or consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people who I formed for myself, and that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This morning's New Testament reading is taken from John, chapter 18, verses 12 to 27. So the soldiers, their officer, and the Jewish police arrested Jesus and bound him. First, they took him to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Cyphus, the high priest that year. Cyphus was the one who had advised the Jews that it was better to have one person die for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Since that disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest, but Peter was standing outside the gate. So the other disciples who were known to the high priest went out, spoke to the woman who guarded the gate, and brought Peter in. The woman said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the police had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were standing around it and warming themselves. Peter also was standing with them and warming himself. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples, about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those what I have said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the police standing nearby struck Jesus on the face, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Sophius, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They asked him, You are not also one of the disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man, whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Again Peter denied it, and at that moment the cock crowed. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Our Gospel Canticle is the Song of Zechariah. 
and the refrain is, those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue shall shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in the virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Amen. We come now to our time of prayer. So let us pray together. Lord, we bring before you up today. We bring before you all the tasks that we have to complete. Lord, we thank you for the good things that's going to happen today. And Lord, we pray for those difficult times, those difficult conversations, those difficult people. Lord, we bring them before you now. We ask for your blessings on those people. Lord, help us to be a light shining for you today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your world. Lord, we pray for Israel tonight, this morning. Lord, we pray for peace in that region. We pray for reconciliation. We pray for justice. We pray for all those affected by war in that land. Lord, we bring before you other countries at war. We pray for Ukraine. Lord, so quickly these places fall out of the news. But Lord, we pray for that land. We pray for the people in it. We pray for those refugees that are in the UK. Lord, we pray that you'll bring them peace as they miss their families. And as they watch the destruction of that your land, their land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our benefits. We pray for Tracy and for Sue and for Sarah and for Andy. And Lord, as we draw near Advent and move up to Christmas, Lord, we pray that the black water benefits will be a light shining for you in this land. Lord, give us all a heart to share your love with the people we meet. We thank you for all the good things that's going on in the benefits, all the different clubs and societies, the different services, Lord, we pray for your blessings on these, these different clubs this time. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those people who are ill. All those people that are sad. Lord, we bring them before you now and pray for your healing in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the college for today. God of peace, the bound of all love, who in your Son, Jesus Christ, have made the human race your inseparable dwelling place. After the example of your servant, Richard Hooker, give grace to your servants ever to rejoice in the true inheritance of your adopted children and to show forth your praises now and forever through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the Christ who has opened the kingdom of heaven bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let's bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me for morning prayer. And I trust you all have a really, really good day and look forward to seeing you in a fortnight's time. Bye-bye now.